Okay, welcome back everyone. So we all just heard the SHOT Show was canceled and I'm sure that many potential industry attendees breathed a great sigh of relief. While for others, there was a great disturbance in the force as if millions of social media gun influencers voices were suddenly silenced, crying out their agony into the SHOT Show 21 void. A response to a comment on a PSA forum indicating that PSA is working on something to announce their 2021 releases in lieu of SHOT Show 2021 being canceled got me thinking. First, pundits have noted for a while that trade shows may rapidly be coming a thing of the past. Three factors, as far as I can tell, drive trade shows. ROI, or return on investment, is number one, of course. Price factors include designing a booth, trucking the materials to the site, renting the space, setup and breakdown, flying in and lodging employees, the list goes on and on. This can add up to a significant percentage of a company's annual marketing budget. Trade shows quickly become a pricey proposition for companies. I quote Ernest Worthman here from an article written March 5th, 2020, the very beginning of COVID, that's noteworthy, detailing the other two factors more succinctly than I can, and I quote, I have regular conversations with vendors as well as attendees at trade shows. The single most concerning issue with vendors is lead generation. The single most pressing issue with the attendees is information gathering. Sure, deals are still made here, but from my experience, they are fewer and farther in between. Vendors go to shows to generate leads for sales and to take orders for the coming year based on the strength of their product line. Attendees go to gather information about said product lines. That's what makes the trade show world go round and round. Second, as an alternative, virtual trade shows have been in existence for some time, even in the early 2000s, which I wasn't aware of. A plethora of companies offering virtual trade show platforms pops up with a simple Google search. I'm not entirely sure why the, why the NSSF hasn't decided to adopt this option sooner, given the fact that many of us realized by midsummer that SHOT Show 2020 was most like, or 2021 was most likely not going to run in person. A virtual trade show is hardly groundbreaking or game-changing and it remains a viable option, but perhaps not at this late date. A more nimble recognition of the facts on the ground could have led to a virtual SHOT Show 2021, but it seems too late for that now. So what can be done about this and why do I care? I care about this as an average gun-loving consumer that looks forward every year to the third week of January. While the NRA show in May has diluted some of the potency of the January SHOT Show, SHOT still remains the single biggest concentration of the firearms industry's new releases. Here's a couple thoughts I have in light of the current non-state of SHOT Show. Larger companies, non-firearms companies, with significant new releases, Apple, the Ford Bronco, July 13th, and most recently the Hummer EV, October 20th, 2020, and even the, Ford, the Jeep Wrangler 392 today, they produce slickly produced videos encapsulating their product's most appealing features and market them directly to the public via YouTube. I would very much enjoy seeing a scheduled lineup of the most popular products that were to be unveiled at SHOT Show 2021 and have their own company produce online video premieres on the third week of January weekend. The Jeep Wrangler Rubicon is a perfect example that just happened today. There was a lot of fanfare, it was a, a premiere live on YouTube and it was very enjoyable. It generated a lot of hype, a lot of publicity, not only for the Jeep Wrangler 392, but also for other products in their lineup. Fortunately, there's hope in sight. The Firearm blog posted November 7th they plan to run what they're labeling GunFest 2021. They aren't going the virtual trade show route, but instead rented out an NCIS set, I believe in New Orleans, that they'll use to interview manufacturers, take photos of their new products, and roll out videos of their experience on TFB TV. This is theoretically going to happen three days in December, and apparently early interest has been so high that TFB is going to plan another three days in early January to accommodate all the firearm manufacturer interest. 
But I'd like to hear what you think. Do you enjoy companies marketing direct to consumers, producing their own videos and scheduling their own releases? Or do you like SHOT Show the way it is with many social media influencers attending and doing a myriad of videos over the third weekend of January? What do you think of TFB TV's idea? Please let me know in the comments below. And as for me, I'm heartened by TFB TV's announcement and can't wait to see what 2021 holds for firearms enthusiasts. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. As always, thanks for joining me on the journey. LW Road, out.